man. These XR contact lenses are killing me. Ugh, oh, can't stop blinking. Hey guys, uh, how's what? it going? Cartoon Carl here, back again with another tutorial. How are you all doing? Alright. So, you may remember if you cast your minds back, uh, maybe a month, month or two ago, we had shown System Shock Redo in UEVR with Ashok's add ons. Oh, yeah, I remember that video. To help make it a more complete yeah. VR experience. Okay, let me go to the laptop real quick. Well, fast forward to today, and that mod is now complete. Okay, the mod's ready? Sweet! What can we do so with it? Link in the description if you want to download it yourselves. But what's available? Well, right off the bat, these eyes. there's a new interaction mode for VR with a proper working cursor. Okay, okay, we got this all set up. You can now physically crouch in real life. You got a new gesture system. Physical leak. Hate these lenses, man. Without the need of third-party applications like Love Pie, Free Pie, uh, VR Companion, all those things, it's all just within the plugin now. You have improved inventory control for virtual reality. You also have smooth turning. The user interface is now attached to your right hand for better usability within VR. There's been various motion controller fixes to better align the guns with where your hands will be in real life. So now, you can aim down sights with confidence. Man, these features sound cool though. Also, that pesky blackout issue has been addressed with culling fixes. Thanks okay. to Ashok. Let's get it set up. Alright. So if you guys want to download this for yourselves, very simple. Go to the link in the description. Download that file. Next thing you gotta do is open up your UEVR. Go to Import Profile, simply point it to the file you just downloaded. That's it. Everything you need is already installed. Very, very simple. Oh, now, the next popo. time you boot up your System Shock Redo in VR, you can simply redo it. Turn around! Yeah, sure, I'll put my hands up. Dick. Ow! What is? We're transporting the prisoner from New Atlanta Sector 11. What's our destination? Diego's office is requesting the prisoner to make the handoff there. Copy that. Remember, gentlemen, what I say stays here. I'm currently attending to other affairs on the station, but I have a job for you. If you do it, you'll be rewarded. Refuse, and you won't be leaving the station in the shuttle. I see the silent time. Remove the hood. Ow! I'll make you a deal. Give me Ashhawk's UEVR profile for System Shock. The one from the VRA Fied Games tutorial you illegally downloaded. Show me how it plays on my 3080 Ti. Okay, let's go over the tutorial again. Uh, That's it. Uh, let's see. Install that son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. Excellent. All the added features too. Mm -hmm. Melee combat. Yep. Hey DS. New VR interactions. Good. That's good. Go to the link in the description. Download that file. Next thing you gotta do is open up your UEVR. Go to Import Profile. Simply point it to the file you just downloaded. That's it. Everything you need is already installed. Very, very simple. Okay, that's it. Now put on that HMD and demo the features of the, Ow, the audience. <laughs> See you What's up, Leo? Yeah. And leaving there talking head. Coming to you live with Daigo and VR Fight Games. How we doing, Daigo? Hey, Ed, how's it going? 
Yeah, man. Yeah, it is what it is. So what's up? What's what's this here now? Well, Ed, you might remember a few months back we took a look at Ashok's plugin add-on for System Shock UEVR. Now, the whole point of that is it takes UEVR as a framework, as a foundation, and Ashok has gone in and he has built upon it. He has made so many improvements that even now today, when you look back at the first impressions video we did all those months ago, it is almost entirely different now and for the better oh so he's uh he's done made this a, a more complete vr experience is, is what you're saying yeah 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 he has the like, first thing you'll notice right off the bat is the ui it's now attached to your right arm as opposed to floating in space now it's neither here nor there in terms of aesthetics i, I could take it either way but it does help a great deal when it comes to vr interaction second thing you'll notice is oh my god i've been asking for this since day one with ui vr the ability to swing your controller for melee attacks. That is here, that's present and correct within the plugin. There's no more external software, it just works within UEVR itself. After installation, one click, you're done. That is fantastic for me. That adds uh, so much to an experience of VR. Rather than pressing the button, I can just swing my controller. It's far more immersive, yeah. Another thing he's done is he has done extensive work on the in-game cameras. Now, if you were to load up System Shock with UEVR without the plugin, and say you come to a cutscene or whatever, yeah, the camera is all screwy, it moves with your controller, very disorientating, you'll get seasick very, very quick. And I have noticed that in quite a few titles with UEVR, but that's a, that's a video for a different time. Ashok himself has gone in and he has tinkered around with the cameras and he's made them work so that this no longer happens yeah. with cutscenes, with menus. It just behaves as you imagine it would. Fantastic. He's also improved his VR interaction system, which uh, if you remember for the last video, you have six degrees of freedom motion controls by default, okay? But this completely breaks the interaction system of the game. So what Ashok had to do with his plugin is create basically a toggle system where it toggles from that 60 OF VR centric gameplay back to the more traditional 2D style gameplay, but it's still in VR. Now, not only can you swing your motion controller to activate the melee attack, but you can also physically crouch in real life to activate the crouch button. And yes, it's recommended you play this game standing, but if you want to play seated, you can do so. Just check out the readme, and you can see there is a JSON file that you need to delete in order to re-enable the crouch key with a button press as opposed to physical crouching. But it's far more immersive this way. So say you come to a keypad, door lock, puzzle, whatever it is. In order to activate the VR interaction mode, press and hold left trigger. How you'll know this works is your weapon will disappear and you will be able to 
basically move the mouse cursor with your motion controller. Now, if you find it out of line, you can recenter everything with your right thumbstick until you get it feeling more natural for yourself. And to simply go back to the 60 FVR mode, release the LT key. But this is absolutely essential for things like keypads and puzzles where you need the cursor to have pinpoint precision. It works fantastic now in VR, especially with the UI attached to the right hand. Very, very intuitive. And although the method implemented in the first video we had made regarding this plugin, although that method was fine, this method does improve upon it. And you know, he has done various other bug fixes, little tweaks here and there. Chief among them is in the weapons. Welcome back to Citadel Station. We hope your somnolent healing stage went well. Today is the 6th day of November, year 2072. You are currently in the healing suites, located on the first level. Level 2 contains the research laboratories. 3 houses the Department of Maintenance. And the storage cells are on level 4. Engineering. Level 8 houses the Department of Security. The bridge is located on level 9, and energy systems on level R. All levels can be accessed by the elevator in, in, in Alpha Quadrant. For some bizarre reason, the weapon angles are all slightly off, they're all slightly different depending on which weapon you're using, and I think it might be down to just aesthetics and the fact that the devs wanted to convey, okay, this weapon is heavier, or this weapon is lighter, so it's angled a little bit differently, you know, to go the whole immersive sim thing. Of course that plays havoc in VR with 60OF, so he's gone in and done extensive work to where basically now, no matter what weapon you're holding, you can aim down the sights and be confident that you're going to hit the target where you're looking. Another complaint I see pretty much across the board when it comes to UEVR is the misalignment in 3D in VR with the weapons. But that is not the case here thanks to the very hard work that Ashok has put into this mod. Yeah, System Shock with UEVR, it's now premier title, it's up there. I would say it's tied with Borderlands 3 as my favorite experience so far with UEVR. And that comes down to modders coming in and building upon what was already there with UEVR. Like hats off to them, hats off to the community. You go into that Discord, flat to VR, and every day you're seeing improvements, seeing little tweaks. The entire community gets behind these games, wants to elevate them, wants to get them to the peak possible VR experience that you can have with them. And oh man, I am so, so grateful for these people. So, so grateful. So there you have it, Ashok's plugin for System Shock with UEVR is complete. It should be up in his GitHub soon. I will link the GitHub here in the description as soon as it comes live, and you can play this for yourselves. Oh my days, this is VR. So I guess we're gonna leave it there you guys, uh, like, comment and subscribe, if you've any thoughts, queries, any critiques, put them down below. If indeed there are any games you'd like to look at VRifying in the future, put those down below and we will presumably get back to you eventually. You can also follow us on TikTok for our adventures over there, which are basically condensed versions of what we do over here. And uh, yeah, follow us on all social medias, uh, all links will be in the descriptions. And yeah, looking forward to seeing you there also. Alright, the R5 game's out.